Hi guys, welcome to Microsoft ERP Business Tutorial Series. In this episode, we are going to discuss about the impact of the, the latest purchase price parameter. So what is the impact of this parameter on the item price, that is item purchase price and um, how do they influence even the sales price and all other concepts that will be covered as a part of this episode. Hope you know that we've already covered a lot of uh, deep dive sessions into uh, purchase price with respect to trade agreements, so multi-line discounts and uh, line discounts and charge codes. So if you did not watch my some of my previous episodes on the purchase pricing, please do watch those episodes and then come back to this episode. In this episode, we'll be only focusing on the impact of the latest purchase price parameter. How do they impact the pricing within the item master in specific to the purchase price. So with that note, Let's get into the episode. So I currently I've already created an item and um, the item uh, uh, this is my item uh, product this is a product item and I'm in a, a purchase tab of the, the item. Uh, in the purchase tab you see that there is a parameter called as the latest purchase price um, and this item, I have not put any trade agreement. I have already defined a price purchase price for this item, which is $100 uh, this moment. So now I'm going to turn on this parameter and save this item master. So which means that whenever I create a new purchase order for this item with a specific price or a different price, if the, just in case if the price of the item keeps changing in every single purchase order, Based on the recent cost price of this item in the latest purchase order, the, the price here in the item master also keeps changing, right? So I, I will quickly create a purchase order and try to show you this in a, in a, using a demo. Um, and before we go with the demo, I, another concept I want to introduce is since we are talking about the latest purchase price, I know that still we are in the procurement module. We didn't go into the sales cycle that is into the sales and marketing yet. Uh, at least for the next 20 episodes, we'll only be focusing on the procurement and sourcing module because, because we are going to go very deep into the procurement and sourcing module. So, um, but still, uh, there's a small thing that I want to show you within the sales side as well. So just in case, if you have a business process where you want to always have your profit margin at a fixed percentage and your profit margin will always be fixed to 5%, let's say for example, that is your sell price will always be 5% more than your purchase price. So you want to maintain that ratio, then we can do so by using something called as the sales price model and changing it to the contribution ratio and defining your contribution ratio as a 5%. At the moment, just notice that the sales price is 120, but as soon as I change to the 5% contributing ratio and save it, the sales price will be 5% more than that of a purchase price, which is you'll always maintain a 5% profit margin in this case. So your sales price will be dependent on your purchase price. Okay. So now let's uh, uh, come back to the, the purchase price and let's review the, the latest purchase price, the effect of this parameter on this particular item master. So let me copy the item number and let's quickly create a purchase order for using that item um let's just okay click on new choose any vendor okay i'm going to choose the first one and your warehouse say okay okay i'm going to add the same item that we have configured with the latest purchase price okay and uh, let me try to turn off the warning here so let's not okay going back to the purchase order. Uh, yeah, so uh, this purchase order, I'm going to change the price of the purchase order from 100 to 101. 
and uh, let's confirm the purchase order and receive that is post the GRN for the purchase order delivery note say okay So the purchase order is received and last thing is a quick invoice let's put the invoice number over there match the invoice and post the invoice so once the invoice is successfully posted let's go back to our item master and refresh our item master you will notice that the change in the purchase order happened which is the um, the purchase price has now changed to the latest purchase orders uh, price that's because of the latest purchase price parameter being turned on and another difference you will notice is as when as and when the purchase price keeps fluctuating your sales margin will be maintained at the five percent so which means it was previously 105 and now it's changed to 106.32 to maintain that 5% profit margin with your purchase price, right? So that is the big advantage of uh, using the sales model as contribution ratio. If I put this uh, um, item in a sales order, now the sales order price will be 106.32, right? So that is about the, the, the effect of latest purchase price. Um, even within the manage cost tab uh, if you check the purchase item price you will see that the item price is um, uh, updated here to 101 okay and uh, um, if you put another price in another purchase order you will see that the price within the item price will get overridden let us uh, for example um, um, let's say that I'm, I'm putting another uh, purchase order very quickly um, let's see I'm just doing it for the same vendor and choose my warehouse and okay so let me now uh, let me choose oh not this item number I think I lost my item number let's copy this okay and now i'm changing the price to 102 and um let me confirm the purchase order receive it and invoice it product receipt receive it and now let's invoice it and just put this one and this one update the Match, post the invoice <clears throat> once the invoice is posted if I go back to my product master and refresh it you will see that it's changed to 102 and even the sale price is updated if I go to the item price um, in the manage cost tab um, the item price is overridden now by 102 but I do not see my price history here in this section. So I lost my price history data, which is very good to have data because I can analyze my price fluctuations. So my previous history was 100 and then it changed to 101 and then it changed to 102 now, but I do not have my price history, right? 
So in order for me to store the price history in the uh, item price section in the item, you need to get into the, uh, we didn't, uh, you know, started with this module yet, but still, since we are in this topic, I want to quickly show you. So let me go into the inventory management module. Uh, so let's get into the inventory management module and get into the inventory and warehouse parameters. And I think under the inventory accounting, if I turn on the last purchase history uh, parameter and save the form. And now if I try to uh, create another purchase order, for the same item, uh, let's create one to see the difference. Uh, if you're a beginner and you're watching this, maybe you can practice along with me to have more hands-on on all the scenarios. So this, um, is a purchase order and let me call, uh, I think this is not the item number copy the item number paste it and I'm going to change the price here to 103 now and confirm the purchase order And let me post the product receipt. Let me just copy and paste some number and receive it. It's necessary that you need to post invoice for you to uh, perform this scenario and uh, for, for the system to update the uh, latest price in the purchase order. So let's quickly invoice it. Okay. Match. See, we're matching is turned on, so I need to match it and then post my invoice. Okay, purchase order is invoiced. So go back to your um, uh, release products, refresh it, and the price is changed to 103. And at the same time, even the sale price is maintaining that 5% margin because of our um, contribution ratio. And now, if I check my item price, I will see that the price history is maintained, which is my previous price and the current price. So that's the difference between. Uh, this turning off and turning on this latest price history parameter and also that is the functionality of the uh, the latest price parameter and the sales price model and the contribution ratio hope you like this content and enjoyed this content um, we will explore more topics and more more concepts and uh, uh, cover almost every single parameters in uh, all the modules supply chain modules to start with and then we will go into the finance modules and other modules like uh, projects and accounting and master planning and so on so keep watching my series subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed thanks again for watching this see you again in next episode mm -hmm.